this video, we're going to go over how to create descriptors manually. So we're going to go through how to create those descriptor fields manually, and also two different options for creating those descriptor profiles for your pieces of media. So let's get oriented to the project. This is a hypothetical study based on orphan black characters. So we have um, interviews with each character here listed. I believe they're about uh, 12, yes, 12 pieces of media here. But we're interested in different aspects of their experience based on their demographics or perhaps what research site um, we interviewed them at. In order to track those connections, let's go to our descriptors workspace and practice setting up descriptors manually. In the upper left, this is your descriptor sets panel. Often, the default set that Deduce provides is all that you need. You can add additional ones if you want to categorize different descriptors according to various units of analysis. For this example, we don't need an extra set, so I'm going to stay with the default set. I'm going to go one panel below. This is our set fields panel. This is where we can create those descriptor categories. So I'm going to create those by hitting the addition icon in the upper right corner to add a field. So let's say one category that we're interested in is gender. So we ask each participant to be identified. Below, you'll see that the field type, there's a drop down menu. You can choose different types. Option list is often going to be your best bet because it gives you the most flexibility in terms of how you visualize your data but there are different options here. Text, number, date, time, and option list. This dynamic field is great for tracking change over time. Since gender was constant throughout this study for each participant, we can just go and add field options here. So we had folks identify as a woman. I'm gonna type it in and hit add. We also had men and add. And we also had gender fluid. So add, and then we have our three options there. We can always come back and add more if you add additional folks to your study. You can also rename these and reorder them as well. So now I'm going to hit submit. And we can do this for each unit of analysis that we're interested in for these specific participants. So we also had eye color and pick these in and skip forward a little bit. Great, so eye color options for our participants. We had brown, blue, hazel, and green. So we can go ahead and hit submit. Then I'm gonna add a couple more here. So we have research site and three different options. I hit submit. And we also had age. So I'm keeping this an option list, but I could have selected number if I wanted to. I'm selecting option list so that I have greater control over some data visualization and disaggregating my data by their different ages. I'm going to hit submit. So we also had sexuality and folks identified as heterosexual, queer, bisexual, and also asexual. So we're going to go ahead and hit submit. And lastly, let's say we also wanted a participant name in here or a pseudonym just to keep track of what media file this is attached to. So this is optional, but it is a great organizational tool. So I'm going to go ahead and include participant name. And for this, I'm actually going to choose a text field so that I can just type in those names as we're creating the profiles. Now I'm going to hit submit. Now we have our six descriptors here. And again, you can always go back in, add more categories, or change what field type this is. The next step is actually creating those descriptor profiles. And there are two different ways you can go about doing so. Option one is to create them while you link them to your actual pieces of media, so to those interviews, or you can create them from this workspace by hitting the addition icon in the upper right, and then you would link them afterwards. 
So I'm gonna demo both options here. First, I'm going to create some descriptor profiles from this workspace. So I'm gonna select add new descriptor in the upper right corner. And then you'll see a window where you get to create the specific profile for that piece of media. So let's say this is Sarah. So woman, brown, she was interviewed at research site B. She is 28, identified as heterosexual, and I'm gonna include her name and then hit submit. So now you'll see we have a descriptor profile for Sarah. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more. Right, so now we have three participant descriptor profiles here, and now we can link them to our pieces of media. You have a couple different options for how you wanna do this as well. You can actually do it from this window by selecting the zero in the linked media column. So if I do so, this is Sarah, I'm gonna select that zero, and then a list of your media files are going to pop up. Since this is Sarah, I'm gonna find Sarah here, and then hit link. So now Sarah's interview is attached to Sarah's descriptor profile and we can see all that information here. Another way to link these profiles is to go to your media workspace and then find the participant you want to link a descriptor profile to. So for instance, we also had Delphine. I can find Delphine. I can click on that zero in the descriptor column and then I can find Delphine's descriptor profile here, and then hit link. Now, if you choose to create your descriptors as you're linking them to your documents, you can do so by going to your media workspace. And then let's say we wanted to create a profile for Donnie. I'm going to navigate to Donnie's row, his media file, and then I'm gonna choose the zero next to his name. And again, you're going to be taken to this screen that shows any current descriptive profiles in your project. Since we do not have one for Donnie, I'm going to hit the Create and Link Descriptor button on the lower right. And this brings up that window again where you can create this descriptor profile for this participant or this media file. All right, I filled out all of his information and now I can hit Submit. And we'll see now we have Donnie added to our participant list. And if we go to our media workspace, we have a one next to his name. And if we go to our descriptors workspace, we see him listed along with our other participant profiles. So as you can see, there are multiple different ways to go about creating and linking those descriptors. What we demonstrated in this video was the manual approach. And in a different video, we're gonna show you how to import a spreadsheet to circumvent having to do all of this work manually.